Welcome to Euro Football Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. I'm joined now by sports writer and regular contributor to SPR Forum, Richard O'Hagan. And we're going to be previewing some of the biggest matchups in European football this week. Richard, welcome to the show. Hi, Natalie. It's good to be here. Now, first match I'd like us to preview is Villarreal versus Real Madrid playing on Friday. Villarreal were promoted to, uh, back to La Liga this season after a year in the Secunda division, uh, but have already and unexpectedly taken La Liga by storm after winning all three of their matches, uh, the same as their visitors Real Madrid, who have also won all three. Nevertheless, Real Madrid are the favourites, priced at 1.62 with Will Hill, with the home team priced at 6.0 with Paddy Power and the draw priced at 4.4 with Bet Victor. So firstly, Richard, are you siding with the bookies and does the price for the underdogs look tempting, given the home advantage and their winning streak? Well, to answer the first of those questions, Natalie, yes, I'm afraid I have to side with the market here. Um, one of the things that Villarreal have got against them is they've had this three-game winning streak, but it's not been against the strongest sides. They've played a couple of teams that you'd automatically think were weaker than them, even though they've only just been promoted themselves. And... Madrid is a really, really tough opponent, even if you're playing at home. That said, though, three wins gives you a bit of confidence. If you're playing against Real Madrid, your odds always lengthen because there's such a strong fan base and such a strong betting interest in what Real get up to. So that you're always going to be a good price against them. And at home, three wins under the belt, they've got a chance. They've got a chance. It's something I would put money on, but I'm not going to put a lot of money on. OK, well, talking about media coverage, obviously the big story at the moment is Gareth Bale and he will making his debut match playing for Real Madrid uh, this, this uh, Friday. Now, how do you think he's going to perform? And with the whole world watching the most expensive football player, could nerves and possibly a lack of time to gel with his team get the better of him from this match? Or will we see him succeed, triumph? Well, it's more than just a lack of time to gel with the team and nerves. It's also the fact that he's not actually played a game this season. He was struggling with one injury when he was at Tottenham. He then went away with Wales last weekend and picked up a groin problem that hopefully is not going to keep him out of this game because this is the game everybody wants to see him in. Um, but it, it's probably going to keep him out of Wales' midweek game. So difficult for him to come into this. I don't expect him to start this game. He might get 10, 15 minutes as a substitute towards the end. So little chance for him to show what he can do. But I'm certainly not going to be doing anything like putting money on him to be the first goal scorer. OK. Well, what else can we expect from this match? And where, what, what, what bets can we make? I think it's going to be a tighter game than people think. I think that uh, Villarreal at home, they're going to be looking to lock this game down early on and try and hit Madrid on the break. Madrid, obviously, very attacking side. Lots of skill, lots of talent. So expect Villarreal to defend deep, to defend in numbers, and then to really try and come back into the game in the late stages. For that reason, I think you can make some good money betting on the half-time, full-time market because a lot of people expect this to be real all the way. And I have to say, I don't see it happening that way. I, I see it playing out with uh, the visitors perhaps scoring late in the game, but with it being tight until that point. So half-time with the game being drawn and possibly a Madrid win at the end would be the way to go here. OK, and Richard, if you had to make one pick, one pick for this match, what would it be? That would be my my one pick. Would be the half-time draw, full-time Real win. It's going to net you about four to one in most markets. So very healthy profit to be made there. Okay, very nice, Richard. Thanks for joining us.